Well, BT8 is finally here with New Awakening, and I gotta assure you guys, this set is gonna shake up the meta very differently. And like always, we're gonna be opening a booster box for all of you. Hello Digimon players and fans, welcome back to another new Digimon opening and yes, BT08 New Awakening is finally here and of course boost the box opening for all of you. It's definitely been a while, definitely with some delays and pushbacks, but you know, I'm just super happy it's finally here and yeah, let's get right into this box opening for all of you. There's a lot of really amazing and really good super rares in this set. And I want to showcase you guys and talk about as well as we go through. But first of all, we also have two pre-release packs to open up first. So let's get cracking with those first of all. All right, BT8 New Awakening, let's go. But before we get started, let's open these uh, pre-release packs first. And I hope you guys are enjoying your pre-release weekend. If not, you know, excited for it coming up because um, it is going to be this weekend. And yeah, I'm super excited to be get going into pre-release as well. And I'm going to be playing a bunch of those. Can't wait to see what we got right here. Oh, Innocence Blizzard pre-release. And then we have a uh, Frost Velgrimon right here to combinate together, you know, pair up together very, very nicely right here, side by side. Okay, very nice. Me, yeah, I'm not too sure what's like the most sought after cards in the pre-release packs right here. We got the Black Gatomon, which is pretty cool. And we also have a Myotis Mon pre-release. Very nice. Okay. All right. Let's go into the big stuff. New Awakening. I find it um, kind of interesting how they called it New Awakening because in Japanese version, they called it New Hero. So, but anyways, super excited to dig into this box right here. Many of the super rares are just fantastic in this set and they're just really really good so there's a lot of things to go through oh okay with our box toppers right here for the box toppers we have yole inue and then we have a aero vidramon pack right here and inside i also believe there is the all force vidramon along together with this and i gotta be honest i, I really feel like bandai dropped the ball because this pack was already included from our last bt7 pre-release and they're just adding this now again into this box like it's it really makes like first of all this card is not that amazing not everyone is not super sought after not everyone really wants it it's not that playable as well i have to say and they just reprinted a bunch of them where you know they've been doing a fantastic job through bt7 bt6 with the anniversary packs that we opened up before but now they just yeah i just don't like it honestly i don't think it's a good idea having this uh come up again but anyways let's just go into the packs of new awakening right here the pack art actually looks very nice and i really much like it um uh, yeah, with the blue vibes and everything. Of course, I'm most looking forward to Imperial Jamon support, Vmon support, stuff like that uh, in this set. But yeah, you guys comment down below on what you guys are looking for in this as well. X antibodies are fantastic stuff as well. We've got right here Marsmon, and for our first word, we got Gammamon and Dark Gaia Force, which is absolutely amazing. Really, really cool card. Uh, Black War Greymon is 100% one of the cards I'm looking, at, looking after as well for myself. But anyways, let's keep going with these packs. Now, I got a quick question for all of you watching right now. And I'm very sure you guys are just as excited for BT08 deck profiles and content coming up real soon. Am I right? And if you guys are, then definitely don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell because you guys want to stay tuned as soon as the new deck profiles come out on the channel. We're going to be working on lots of amazing content for all of you and you definitely want to stay tuned for that. And don't forget to give this video a like because it just really helps with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Okay. Senbon, Patamon, Thundermon, Gazimon, Candlemon, Plasma Shot, Kogamon, Gurimon, and we have a Azulamon right here. I kind of find this artwork a little bit derped because, you know, it's a lot more cartoony and a lot more funny. 
uh, in a way it was like such a big head compared to the one that we used to have. And we got UG right here. We definitely need that for the X antibody decks for sure, 100%. Uh, as for the secret rare, I'm 100% uh, Imperial Drummond Paladin mode. If I can pull that, that would be absolutely amazing. Lightning Blade looks really nice. Snow Agumon, Skull Sadamon, Skull Mera. Right here. We're just going to go for them mostly quickly. Gammon and Giga Death right here, which is Imperial Drummond uh, Fighter Mode's signature move. Uh, Frozomon, Top Gun, Thundermon, Betsumon, Lightning Blade once again. Vmon, very nice, definitely needed uh, for Imperial deck for sure, 100%. And then we got Willis and Imperial Jamon Fighter Mode, very nice, fantastic. That This is a card that I definitely am looking forward to pull. We got pulled the cover card right here. Definitely really nice SR. It basically lets you Digivolve uh, to... Uh, on top of a Imperial Jamon Dragon Mode or anything that contains Dragon Mode in it, as a matter of fact. When Digivolving, return one of your opponent's Digimon with a thousand DP or less back to their hand. And when attacking once per turn, if there's a blue card in the sources, and suspend one of your Digimon, including itself. If there's a green, you get to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, which is fantastic. This card is going to be really strong and really powerful, needed for any Imperial strategies out there. So I'm super happy I pulled that card. Right off there, right off the bat, starting strong with our SR. Um, I think I screwed this pack a little bit, so I'm going to have to go for the tab here. Disaster Blaster. Hisario Man, definitely needed for X-Antibody. Really cool new addition. We got Rasen Man, Fury Mode. I really like the card artwork of this card because it looks just really, really cool, fantastic. I kind of felt they definitely did it dirty a little bit for not making it uh, a hollow, but really nice art. I really like it for sure. And then Flame Hell Scythe, one of the best options to come out of this set right here, was just absolutely amazing because, you know, main one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 DP for the turn. Then you can play one purple or yellow Digimon card with 6,000 DP or less from your trash for free, which is really, really good. And yeah, definitely need it for the Massimon or Phantomon decks uh, out there, essentially. We've got Betsumon once again. Greymon, definitely looking for that. And Kilomon, Mushroomon, Ginryomon, we saw that earlier as well. Definitely need for X Antibody. We got Cherubimon right here, Mega, the good version. And we have Bancho Mamemon. And then right here, we pulled Chimeramon, which is absolutely amazing because the reason why this card is just really, really good is because it's white and it's generic. It can be splashed into almost any other deck. Essentially, that does DNA Digivolution strategies because it only requires two level fours of any color put together. And it does a whole lot of things when Digivolving because you can place one level five or lower Digimon underneath its sources, adding stuff that you need to grow into your level six. This card also becomes all the colors it uh, has underneath its sources as well. And also you get to minus thousand DP to four up to four of your opponent's Digimon uh, for each of this Digimon's colors until the end of your opponent's next turn, which is really, really strong and gets extra 4,000 more DP uh, as long as it has four more colors. And yeah. This is why Chimeramon is just extremely strong, extremely good in this set, and I think it's one of the best SRs, if not the best SR, of Neo Awakening. So yeah, let's just keep going with our packs. Uh, next up we have Ankylomon once again, Patamon, Hawkmon, Skull Knightmon, Cavalier Mode, can't wait for more Skull Knightmon support coming up, and we got the Frost Valgrimon, and a Climon. Ultimate Brachiomon, uh, Exermon, Hisario, Angemon, Quillamon. Armadillo, Lydramon, which is really good. Uh, for Vmon for sure, looking for that for Armor Rush and Imperial as well. And then we have Oreomon, which is the new X antibody support for the level 6 right here, which is really, really cool because this helps provide Alphamon in combination together. They become extremely strong, extremely powerful, 
And he does a lot of things once again by himself because you can place one X antibody and it's trace when digivolving. And you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with seven play costs or less. And then also when you do place something once returned, you get extra 2000 DP and can't be deleted by your opponent's effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. But most importantly, it's, it's inheritable because X antibody slides in so much Digivolution sources from hand. You can slide this underneath Alphamon and end of attack. Once a return, if this Digimon has Alphamon in its name, you get to unsuspend it and basically attack again, which makes Alphamon and X Antibody so much stronger and so much more viable compared to the last set, which is really, really fantastic and definitely one of my favorite cards to pull in this current set right here. So, yeah, can't complain. We're doing very well so far and we haven't seen our Altar or Secret Rare just yet. And we're having really amazing uh, Super Rares already. We've got armor texture, which is very nice. Um, some of it, may, some of you guys might play it in the armor decks, but you know, I don't see it played a whole lot, but it's definitely pretty cool and pretty unique as well. Plasma shot as well, right here. And then we have Myotismon and Metal Greymon, which is definitely 100% needed. One of the really good cards for Black War Greymons coming in in this set. Pokemon, Postmon, Fire Rocket, Surfamon, Master Tyranno once again, Plasma Shot, Agumon, definitely looking for that card, this card, because this is your main searcher for Black War Greymon, and then we got Sylphimon right here as well. Kakimon, Kowamon, Psychmon. Yeah, sorry about that. We've probably gone through most of the cards already. Betsumon right here, Gazi, Cherubi, Cody, and then Lydramon once again. Pissmon, uh, Catchmamemon, Pokemon. Spinamon, Canamon, Fangmon, Flamedramon, and then we also got the Azulamon right here. Okay. Disaster Blaster. Ginryomon, we saw that already. Solmon, Aquilamon, Sandmon. Agumon once again, and next up we got Rapidmon right here, which is also really powerful SR for mainly yellow, but also for green because, because this is just really, really strong. It's like a mini Shine Greymon, what most people are talking about. It can basically, you know, suspend stuff and minus DP, and basically sometimes you can, you know, utilizing it and playing it very nicely at the right time, you can board wipe your opponent, which is fantastic with Rapidmon. But yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, all the SRs in the set is just absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Kilamon, Snow Agumon. Vmon, and we got Davis and uh, Ken, which is definitely needed. Um, yeah, for Imperial strategies again, once again. Oh, and here comes our alt art right here, which is Flame Dramon. Very nice. I like this artwork. This artwork is actually just really cool, really sick. Uh, Armor Purge is a new mechanic, basically, uh, which I should have talked about earlier in the video. But what, basically, what it does is when this Digimon will be deleted, you can trash the top card, which is this Digimon, instead to prevent the deletion, and then anything's underneath still stays, uh, whether it's suspended or unsuspended, whichever state it was to begin with, essentially, which is really, really good. And also, this Flame Digimon, when attacking, it gains extra 3000 DP for the turn, making it pretty strong. Very nice. So that is our altar pull right there, and we basically still need to go for the secrets. I'm not sure if there's a chance for two altars in the whole box and no secrets, um, but I guess we'll have to find out towards the end of the box. Mushroomon. I think we might have pulled something cool. I am not sure. Sorry about that. Drop that card right there. Couldn't catch with my hands. 
Uh, we got Azulamon right here, and we do have another alt art, which we did pull, which is Armadillomon right here. Man, that's kind of unfortunate, because I was hoping for a secret rare. I mean, either of the secret rares would be nice, but I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we can keep going, and potentially, I'm not sure, but, but honestly, the SRs are still definitely worth the pull uh, right here. So, there's definitely some SRs I'm still trying to hunt for, which I really, really want, and hopefully we get to showcase them. Gigadef and Willis. Fire Rocket, Lightning Blade, Frozomon, Greymon, Patamon, Aquilamon. We got uh, Yole again, and then we have a Zuchamon. This is really, really cool because this is like a Fire Phoenix, basically kind of like a Fire version of i guess a red version for like nidhogg slash azulamon together because this can do an, a whole board wiping capabilities which is really really cool because when digivolving your opponent chooses one of their digimon and delete all their digimon other than that digimon than the chosen one and for each delete by this effect you get to gain memory so you know despite being at a five cost you can actually lower it very nicely giving that board wipe potential once again which is really good and what your turn when opponent's digimon is deleted this Digimon gains secret plus one for the turn for each of those Digimon deleted. So very similar to Azula Mon, but like a firepower uh, version of it. So yeah. Scorpio Mon, Alec Mon, Exermon, Captain Hook. Hero, and then we got a Metal Grey Mon once again. Miss Memory Boost. Kyuki, Thundermon, Kyokimon, and a Shakomon. And then we have a Magnamon right here, which is really good. Really, really cool. Very nice again. A very cool looking card, honestly. Uh, first of all, it can Digivolve on top of Vmon for three. It's got Blocker, it's got Armor Purge, and when Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon, and it gets plus down 2,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn for each card with Armor Form in its traits in your trash, which is really, really good. This is like a pseudo boss monster, just as a level four, which is really, really nice. So yeah, I'm happy I pulled that one as well. And I believe that was an SR pull. So maybe we can get another SR? To end off that would be very nice digmon and a flame hell scythe once again solmon dark eye of force and Willis. Do I see something cool at the back? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Does look something pretty nice. And for another SR, we have Malo Myotismon. I personally really like this artwork. I really like the idea of having the red and blue fire side by side together. They're just really, really cool. Um, and yeah, and he does a lot of cool things for purple. And really excited to see how this one plays out uh, for this set, essentially. And yeah, more Myotismon support. And this artwork is definitely by far my favorite of all the other Myotismons uh, that has been printed so far. Although I think there's only one Malo other than this one but yeah definitely the main villain of this set i think that would be it for the srs essentially for this uh opening right here so let's move towards the end we got the house mon and we got a bancho mommy mon to end up for the opening all right guys that will be it for the bt08 new awakening booster box for today i was definitely hoping to pull at least one of the secret rares and we can talk about it for today but that's okay, we will get to cover those cards on the channel eventually. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the two alt art pulls could have been a little bit better. 
but honestly flame Drummond looks absolutely amazing and i'll take it any day really really cool card and i can't wait to play armor rush with that as well so if you guys enjoyed the opening definitely be sure to give this video a like did any of you guys open this set for yourself are you guys participating pre-release as well this weekend what cards are you guys hoping to get and what amazing cards did you guys pull and favorite cards of this set be sure to share your thoughts with everyone in the comments down below we got lots more deck profiles like i mentioned for bta coming up for new awakening and lots of really fantastic content so once again be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys won't miss out and yeah like always thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day great night wherever you are we'll see you in the next video and this is about signing out